pray. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not worry at all, but in every matter, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to Elohim. And the peace of Elohim, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your heart, your hearts and minds through Mashiach Yehusha. Let no one judge. Colossians 2.16 Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a festival or of the new moon or of the Shabbat days, which are a shadow of things to come for the body of the Mashiach. Put away the old self. Colossians 3, 5, 14 When the Mashiach, who is our life, is manifest, then you also should be manifest with him in esteem. Therefore, put to death your, member, your members which are on the earth, horn, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and greed of gain which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of Elohim is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you also once walked when you lived in them, but now also put off all these, displeasure, wrath, evil, blasphemy, filthy talk from your mouth. Do not lie to each other, since you have put off the old man with his practices, and have put on the new one, who is renewed in knowledge according to the likeness of him who created him. Where there is not Greek and Yehudi, circumcised and uncircumcised, foreigner, Scythian, slave, free, but Mashiach is all and in all. Therefore, as chosen ones of Elohim, set apart and beloved, put on compassion, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, patience, bearing with one another, and forgiving each other, if anyone has a complaint against another, indeed, as Mashiach forgave you, so also should you. But above all these, put on love, which is a bond of the perfection. First Thessalonians 4, 3 through 8. For this is the desire of Elohim, your set-apartness, that you should abstain from whoring, that each one of you should know how to possess his own vessel in set-apartness and respect, not in passion of lust, like the Gentiles who do not know Elohim, not to overstep and take advantage of this, brothers, in this matter, because the Master is the revenger of all such, as we indeed said to you before, and earnestly warned, for Elohim did not call us to uncleanness, but in set apartness. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but Elohim, who also gave us a set apart spirit of falling away. Second Thessalonians 2 3 to 4. Let no one deceive you in any way, because the falling away is to come first, and the man of lawlessness is to be revealed, the son of destruction who oppresses and exalts himself above all that is called Elohim, or that is worship, so that he sits as Elohim in the dwelling place of Elohim, showing himself that he is Elohim. 1 Timothy 4, 1-3 But the Spirit distinctly says that in later times some shall fall away from the belief, paying attention to misleading spirits and teachings of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy having been branded on their own conscience, forbidding to marry, saying to abstain from food which Elohim created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. Many have been fallen away. That is not limited to the churches or those who worship on Sunday, even those who have learned some truth, for example, denying the Mashiach. So be careful and forewarned that many are led astray for the lack of knowledge. Torah 1 Timothy 1, 9-11 Knowing this, that Torah is not laid down for a righteous being, 
but for the lawless and unruly, for the wicked and for sinners, for the wrongdoers and profane, for those who kill their fathers or mothers, for murderers, for those who whore, for sodomites, for kidnappers, for liars, for prejurgers, and for whatever else that is contrary to sound teaching according to the esteemed Bezorah of the blessed Elohim, which was entrusted to me. We must understand that the Torah is both knowledge of sin and also doing the things that are righteous. Torah being instruction enables us to learn what is right in the eyes of Yahuwah. But let me also mention there is much to be learned from the prophets and scriptures also. Our Mediator 1 Timothy 2, 5-6 For there is one Elohim and one mediator between Elohim and men, the man, Mashiach, Yahushua, who gave himself as a ransom for all, to be witness in its own seasons. Yahushua is our high priest and mediator between Yahuwah and man. Modest Women 1 Timothy 2, 8-15 So I resolve that the men pray everywhere lifting up hands that are set apart without wrath and disputing likewise the women dress themselves becomingly with decency and sensibleness not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly garments but with good works which is becoming for women undertaking worship of Elohim let a let a woman learn in silence and all subjection but I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man rather to be silent because Adam was formed first then Hua that's Eve and Adam was not deceived but the woman having been deceived fell into transgression but she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in belief love and set apartness with sensibleness men 1 Timothy 3, 1-13 Trustworthy is the word, if a man longs for the position of an overseer, he desires a good work. An overseer, then, he should be blameless, the husband of one wife, sober, sensible, orderly, kind to strangers, able to teach, not given to wine, no brawler, but gentle, not quarrelsome, no lover of money, one who rules his own house well, having his children in subjection with all reverence. For if a man does not know how to rule his own house, how shall he look after the assembly of Elohim? Not a new convert, lest he become puffed up with pride and fall into the judgment of the devil. And he should even have a good witness from those who are outside, lest they fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Likewise, attendants are to be reverent, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, not greedy for filthy gain, holding to the secret of the belief, but the clean conscience. Let these also be proved first, then let them serve, if they are unreprovable. Wives, in the same way, reverent, not false accusers, sober, trustworthy in every way. Let attendants be the husband of only one wife, ruling children and their own houses well. For those who have served well as attendants gain good standing for themselves and much boldness in the belief that is in Mashiach Yahushua. Lead by example. 1 Timothy 4, 11, 12 Command and teach these matters. Let no one look down on your youth, but be an example to the believers in word and behavior and love and spirit and belief and cleanness. Not only should we reveal to others the knowledge you who has blessed us with, but we should try to be an example for others as well. Walking the talk. For me, I always look at a person's fruits versus his words versus what scripture says to see where their head is at. 15 and 16. Practice these matters, be in them, so that your progress 
might be plain to all. Pay attention to yourselves and to the teaching. Continue in them. For in doing this, you shall have saved both yourself and those who hear you. Provide for family. 1 Timothy 5, 7-8 And command these matters in order for them to be blameless. And if anyone does not provide for his own, and especially for those in his household, he has denied the belief and is worse than an unbeliever. Strange Teachings 1 Timothy 6, 3-6 and command these matters in order for them to be blameless. And if anyone teaches differently and does not agree to the sound words, those of our master, Yehusha Mashiach, and to the teaching which is according to reverence, he is puffed up, understanding none at all, but is sick about questioning and verbal battles, from which come envy, strife, slander, wicked suspicions, worthlessness, dispute of men of corrupt minds, and deprived of truth who think that reverence is a means of gain, withdraw from such. But reverence with contentment is great gain. Understand that there are false teachers that have some truth, but will twist truth to their advantage or profit. So be careful going under the guidance of those claiming to be of the truth, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. If what they teach is according to scripture, they should be able to show you, and not just a bit to paint their message that they want to convey but read the whole passage to see it in its proper context verbal battles second timothy 2 13 through 15 remember then of this earnestly witnessing before the master not to wage verbal battles which is useless to the overthrowing of the hearers. Do your utmost to present yourself approved to Elohim, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. But keep away from profane, empty babblings, for they go on to more wickedness. Lovers of the World 2 Timothy 3, 1-9 But know this, that in the last days hard times shall come, for men shall be lovers of self, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, thankless, wrongdoers, unloving, unforgiving, unfor slanderers, without self-control, fierce, haters of good, betrayers, reckless, puffed up lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of Elohim, having a form of reverence, but denying its power. Turn away from these, for among them are those who creep into the households and captivate silly women loaded down with sin, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. And as Johann or Memory opposed Misha, so do these also oppose the truth men of corrupt minds found worthless concerning the belief but they shall not go on further for their folly shall be obvious to all and as also that of those men became i really get upset because i experience and see the corruption being spread out to our brothers and sisters both old and young as i write this to you more and more of our brothers and sisters are becoming homosexual or bisexual or intermingling with those whom don't care anything about them aside from sexual gratification. Many are in denial and don't want to accept this. If they see it in movies or in music videos, they try to emulate it. We must refrain from this. Because of this behavior, I've noticed weed addiction increase with females, teen pregnancy, homosexual or bisexuality, murder, it's out of hand in my opinion, and I like to see this trend stop.